Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. With Word, you have many choices as to how you would like to add indentation to your documents. Hitting the tab key on your keyboard will add a tab of a half inch. You can also increase or decrease the indentation of the entire left side of your paragraphs by using the Increase Indent or Decrease Indent buttons located in the Paragraph group on the Home tab within the ribbon. To use these buttons, simply put the cursor in the paragraph that you want to increase or decrease the indentation of, and then click either the Increase Indent or Decrease Indent button as appropriate. This will increase or decrease the indentation of the entire left edge of the paragraph by increments of a half inch. Another way of adding paragraph indentation is to use the four indentation markers shown on the horizontal ruler. Make sure that your ruler is displayed by navigating to the View tab and then making sure the Ruler button is checked in the Show group. You can then look for the left indent, first line indent, hanging indent, and right indent markers. You can click the indent marker that you want to set and drag it to the location on the horizontal ruler at which you want the indentation to occur. You can drag the left indent marker in to indent the left side of the paragraph. You can do the same thing with the right indent marker, which will indent the right side of the paragraph. Next is the first line indent, which you probably think of when you think of paragraph indentation. This marker will set the indentation of the first line of the paragraph. When you press the tab key on your keyboard, the first line of the paragraph will move out to your first line indent marker's location on the horizontal ruler. A less frequently used indentation is the hanging indent. This is mainly used for bibliographies. With a hanging indent, all of the lines except the first one will be indented to the position at which you set the horizontal ruler. You must make sure that the first line indent is at the left margin of the page for the hanging indent to be effective. When you set the hanging indent, make sure that you click and drag the upward pointing marker that looks like a home plate in baseball. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.